Okay. People Station V103, home of the Ryan Kevin Morning Show with the Wanda Smith. On a Friday, the end of the week, the last day, I cannot listen to this song the same anymore after seeing that Marsha and Right, video. exactly. Every time you hear it, you see her in your head, right? I see the baby daddy oh, turning no, her around and bending her over. This is the worst video. <laughs> and all you got to do is say no. <laughs> Hey, there's something, if, if you want to uh, go out and find out what's happening around the city, mm-hmm. the city of Decatur has a tiny house festival. Aww. It is going on uh, July 30th and 31st in downtown Decatur. Mm-hmm. 10 to 15 tiny houses available to tour, and they have experts on, you know, how do you sustain that? What do you do if, you, if you're the person that says you want to downsize? And we have probably one of the, the masters of, of the tiny house life. She's about that tiny, tiny house life. Right. Jewel, Downsizing. Jewel D. Pearson is in the building. Hello. Yeah, hi, good pretty morning. lady. Good How you morning. doing? I am good. Wow. I am good. Okay, Jewel, before we even talk about tiny houses, it, it's just, it's bothering me. Okay. Who do people tell you you look like? Lately, More, it's been a mix. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Yes. I, all I got that the other day. day. This yeah. guy wanted to take a picture with me. Which I'm like, su- I don't look like Lauren yes, Hill. Yes, you do. Not, and I think she's beautiful, but I don't see, I, I think it's the hair. No. No, but that is a good, that's a compliment. Now, Thank I'm talking about Lauren Hill, you know, not, you know. Not, you know, didn't, you know Okay, not, but okay. Okay. let's talk about the house. Hill and, Lauren Hill and who else? She's going to say someone else. Who else? I hear Jill Scott. Okay. No. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh. All right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. a guy stopped me the other day. He was like, Miss Lauren Hill. A, oh, wow. I like, like, stopped you? Yeah, I was walking past. I got to take a And he really took a picture. And I'm like, I'm not Lauren Hill. Yeah, you're going to end up on Wendy Williams for fan <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm not Lauren Hill. Okay. No. So, you know, HDTV talks about this whole tiny house thing. Yes. Right. I was on there. Yep. So, so what made you decide to do this? It's just been uh, years and years of, of thought of downsizing. I right. originally thought I'd do like the RV life once my daughter was grown. RV mm-hmm. life. Yes. Like Walter White. Yes. And yes. just, <laughs> right. And just um, the Capital easier, life. lighter lifestyle. Right. And mm-hmm. then I realized the RVs, I kind of have the high end taste, and, and the RVs that I liked were not in my. Free budget for the <laughs> lighter lifestyle. Right. And just stumbled on tiny houses one night and was like, okay, I'm building a tiny house. That works for me. Wow. It's amazing. Thank you. So, what you know, tiny house life, what's the biggest, you know, adjustment that you had to make? So, for me, it wasn't really an adjustment because I was doing the research over, like, a, the course of a, almost two years. Right. Mm-hmm. Making sure, you know, paying attention to how I used my space and the things that I was going to have to have in my house. Mm-hmm. So, um, with my, my sister and a friend, my design team, we pulled it together. And so, it really wasn't a big adjustment for me. Mm-hmm. But for people who are just kind of jumping into it, it's, it, you know, if, you, if you're not designing the, the space according to what's going to work for you or maybe right. for your family... Uh-huh. Then there's a big uh, curve. So I had been downsizing like over the course of 10 years, just moving to smaller spaces. Okay, so for people who are listening right now who want to even consider something like this, they say, you know what, this mortgage is crazy. Right. And I'm, I'm about to go broke. Right. Right. Is this a good idea? I think so, but mm-hmm. I could be biased. Um, <laughs> because you have one. Because I have one. But absolutely, I think um, part of what I'm talk- I talk about to, uh, at the festival is – the experience of a person of color and with everything um you know housing discrimination redlining all of Mm -hmm. that kind of stuff for for us to be behind in home ownership this is certainly an opportunity to own a home at at, at, and get to home ownership at a lot quicker pace and what's the cost it varies so do it yourself is going to be absolutely cheaper but then uh, a tiny house can range from uh, some people build theirs for like twenty five thousand dollars and up. So mine is is on the higher end of the of the price spectrum. But you have a nice hook. tiny house. I, yeah, I call mine nice. tiny luxury. I, one of my taglines is is that you don't have to give up luxury to go tiny. Okay, like- so I have a, I have a question. Okay. Okay, so I thought the same thing. Like when you retire. Because I like to travel a right. lot. So my husband and I talked about the whole RV thing, and that would be so right, cool because right. black people don't do that. Let's just keep it 100. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So we were like, you know what? Every time we see RV, we don't see African-American people in it, honestly. So the whole tiny house thing I thought was really cute. But how do you travel? How do you move it from one place to the next place? If you want to go from city to city, state to state, I see some of them you can hook up and, and pull. So how do you 
you know, I guess move from city to city, state to state. So it's built on a trailer, and it varies according to size. So, like, mine is 28 feet, and I would just hook it up to, like, a one-ton truck and and move it out that way. Mine being on the larger side, I don't move mine as frequently as some of the smaller ones okay. um, as people do. But last night, I, I traveled in from Charlotte last night and brought in a 20-foot um, house wow. on a, a one ton truck and it's you know it's absolutely doable me and my girlfriend drove it down and it's just something that you would drive so you're driving like the truck RV. yes i drove the truck last night okay so do you have like a tiny bathroom i have a, a, a I, I say my bathroom <laughs> is a medium style i'm a everybody, girl and I want girl everybody like but i want everybody to see pictures. i have a, a yeah. bathroom with mm. Uh, a, a RV size tub, full it's counter so space, so all my do, girly like, space, like, all my stuff. Plumbing and stuff like that. How does so it work? So it works like an RV. Okay. It, you plug it up um, to the water connection on the backside, just like yeah. an RV does. I have uh-huh. the the so it the house is plumbed like a regular house. Right. Um, my gray water kind of just runs out. I have a black water tank. I have a flushing toilet. I don't. Uh, some people do composting toilets. Mm-hmm. I have a flushing toilet. Again, I I wasn't really ready to go all the way in tiny house life, and so. It's just like a normal, so normal nice. house. I'm going to invite you to Charlotte. To How can people see, see this? We want people to see all of her, her tiny house. My want, website so nice. is MissGypsySoul.com. MSGypsySoul.com. I have plenty, Aww. plenty of pictures on my website, on my Facebook page. M-S-G-Y-P-S-Y. Soul. Soul, S-O-U-L dot com. I got lost in this early, run. I've been on the road. Thank you. This is really nice. Help me out. I said so for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You saw me struggling. I was writing in my right. head. Oh, tiny house. Tiny this house. is so pretty. Thank like you so you much. really want to do this, huh? No, I don't want to do it, but I think that you know, I, I I don't know. I, I mean, mean I, this is it, something to think about, absolutely. but it is a great idea absolutely. financially. Absolutely. I want to see it. This is it, awesome. And it facilitates the lifestyle. So even if I don't move my house, yeah. the the reduced expenses allow right. for a lighter lifestyle. It, it allows for more travel. Yeah. You know, even if I'm not taking my house with me. Absolutely. Wow. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Jewel. So you said you yeah. want to see. Oh, you come to, you, you've got an open invitation. We All need right. to ride over there to look at the tent the, there. Yeah, the, the, the Decatur Tiny House Festival is this Saturday and Sunday. You yes. know, the tiny minority. Aww. That's the name. That's the, the presentation that the I The tiny Jewel. minority. Yes. There you go. Yes. Thank you, Jewel. Thank you. Long way, Jim. It's been a long, it's a long thing. Good. Long way from... From when I was starting to get in the whole house. We had really? a tiny house. We called it apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh. We can have the A, just apartment. Apartment. Oh, Y'all about to ride over to the apartment? Or, or efficiency. Oh, yeah, efficiency. Oh, yes. Everything yes. in one room. Yes. Mm-hmm. Open, the, those, open yes. the front door, you be out the back door. That's right. Order a pizza, you got to eat it outside. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> had an apartment so, so small that when my neighbor opened the refrigerator, I heard it. Boy, you <laughs> Stop getting water. <laughs> What's going on, Jim? Uh, not a terrible right now, uh, right now, Ryan and Wanda. We do have a couple things we need to tell you about. First off, police are looking for uh, an accident over at Peachtree and Trinity.